Newsnight has learned that parents complained to the Department for Education about racism and bullying at Steiner schools, those schools favoured by less conventional middle-class families. So why has the government provided public funds for new Steiner free schools? Newsnight has exclusively seen two Department for Education memos which relate serious concerns about Steiner schools. Memos that the British Humanist Association had to go to court to get released. Steiner schools, they've been popular for decades among the more liberal and bohemian, some might say wacky, middle classes. Sandra Bullock, Robin Van Persie, po excuse me, Robin Van Persie, both former students. But Newsnight has learned that complaints were made to the Department for Education that in some of these privately funded schools, teachers had said they thought bullying was part of how kids worked out their karma. And in one school, there were problems with racism linked directly to the Steiner philosophy. But since the government received these complaints, it agreed to fund three new Steiner free schools. Chris Cook has the story. I think the Steiner pedagogy is a really interesting philosophy uh, for many reasons. Not least the fact that it centres on the child and the child's education holistically. They focus on the human being and they nurture and they, they are affectionate and, and I think that that's really important to build the human being before you build an academic or a worker. Steiner schools, sometimes called Waldorf or Steiner Waldorf schools, have a bit of a following. One, two. There are now about 30 private Steiner schools and, since 2008, three state ones. Another is on the way. But Newsnight has exclusively seen two Department for Education memos which relate serious concerns about Steiner schools. Memos that the British Humanist Association had to go to court to get released. The memos from 2010 come from the early days of the Free Schools programme and note that the civil service had received material indicating that the Steiner curriculum is structured around the spiritual philosophy of Rudolf Steiner called Anthroposophy. Rudolf Steiner was an Austrian-born occultist who died in 1925, but his ideas, anthroposophy, live on. It's a spiritual doctrine that covers everything from homeopathy and biodynamic farming to the purpose of life. This grand work still fills bookshops and includes some rather particular ideas about race and reincarnation, specifically that people with darker skin are less evolved. But if they do well, if they have good karma, they can hope to be reincarnated in later lives as a higher ranked race. Why Aryans, of course, are at the top. They evolved from advanced colonists from the lost continent of Atlantis. The controversy around Steiner schools relates to just how many of his less palatable ideas make their way into the classroom. The real question is, just how much Rudolf is there in the Steiner schools? The idea that um we have incarnated through the races is a very um, controversial idea that is not part of our modern thinking in Steiner schools at all. In fact, I would find it quite outrageous and unacceptable. And um, it, is not, it is not a basis upon which one would want to found any criticism of Steiner schools today because it just does not exist. It is not what we believe. But some of those ideas have occasionally cropped up within the private Steiner schools very recently, and some parents are worried about speaking out. There was diversity training at the school, and part of it was ticking boxes of which ethnicity you were. And four of the teachers ticked all the boxes, and the trainer asked why on earth they'd done that. And they said because they'd been all those races, and all those teachers were white, so obviously they see themselves as the pinnacle. The Department for Education memos also reveal some important concerns about bullying. For example, it said that in eight of the 25 private Steiner schools, there had been serious complaints about staff bullying pupils. There were also concerns about policies on stamping out bullying and worries that this might be related to Rudolf Steiner's teachings. The memos report a complaint that one parent witnessed a physical attack on their son where a teacher failed to intervene and the teacher subsequently justified this approach by claiming that the children were working out their karma. But that's certainly not the approach everywhere. 
There was an incident where my child was attacked in class and it was terribly traumatic for everybody involved. Uh, the school, however, were incredible at dealing with it. The teacher in the classroom, the assistant, were both very nurturing, very caring, and my daughter um, has flourished and grown after the event. The school management team pounced on the problem very, very quickly. Since the memos are written, three new state Steiner schools have been opened or approved to open. That's not uncontroversial given the nature of Steiner's work. The DfE memos note that it obviously wouldn't approve anything where racism or bullying were issues. Tonight, it added that it can and it would close schools, even private ones, where they were. But that doesn't close the question of whether this Austrian mystic's ideas are actually worth public money. Here to discuss Steiner schools are Francis Russell, whose child was a pupil at Greenwich Steiner School, and Andrew Copson, the chief executive of the British Humanist Association. Um, Andrew, if I could start with you. I mean, the evidence seems to suggest that kids learn at these schools and that they're pretty happy. Why on earth are you making such a fuss about them? Well, the reason that we tried to get the documents that the DfE has finally had to release is precisely because uh, we feared what they turned out to actually contain. Eight out of 25 of the independent Steiner schools that exist uh, had serious cases of bullying of pupils by staff, which is a completely massive proportion compared uh, with other schools. Um, there was a culture of secrecy encouraged in teacher training materials uh, within Steiner teacher training schemes that said that they should uh, prevent other people from seeing their lesson plans, make sure that lesson plans were lost, um, and that was obviously because of the controversial nature of the material. Um, the quasi-religious, pseudo-scientific, mystical belief system that is anthroposophy and, and, and Rudolf Steiner's work um, was linked directly to incidents of racism and bullying within those schools as well. Um, so that's why we're concerned. We're concerned um, if any sort of ideological uh, belief system takes the place of real education in state schools. Uh, Francis, um, the evidence that in some schools bullying was well, not, 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 not just tolerated, but in some senses thought of as a good thing, as a way of identifying, you know, what no, no. kind of kids you've, you, you know, or what, what kind of person these kids would grow up to be. That, that, doesn't that immensely worry you as a, somebody who has, you know, as a parent of a kid at one of these schools? Okay, this is total rubbish, what you're talking about now. Um, I am a parent uh, who had a child at the school, but I've also been involved in running, setting up and running this particular school over the last six years, involved, and been involved with it for ten, and been involved in the movement. Um, the, the allegations that were raised in those reports were never tested. This was just some parents who had written to the Department for Education. Um, and they were being raised in the reports as issues of how do we manage um, uh, if parents come up and say these kind of things with the media. There's absolutely no proof at all but about the these things. But, 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 I'm sorry, but, 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 can, I, sorry. can I just continue for a moment? Um, what you're describing does not happen in Steiner schools. That would never happen in our school. It would never happen in any of the schools that I know anything about. Yeah. But, but, the, why, but why does the handbook talk about kids being, you know, either victims or bullies and, need, and you needing to sort of test which category they go into? Why, does that, why do these handbooks say no, these I, things? I'm, I'm, I'm not clear about this handbook at all. What I can tell you uh, is what our policy says and what policies in all the schools say. Remember that they are all inspected and they all have to abide by the independent school's rules. Um, and what they say is that bullying is not tolerated, but within Steiner schools, as, as in within many schools, we try to get children to learn to deal with conflict that is going on, um, but they are not left to do that on their own. They are it's done with guidance of, 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 of the adults, with teachers and parents involved. Um, I'm sorry, but this, all this stuff about the pseudo-spiritualism and everything, that is all to do with Steiner's views uh, on anthroposophy, which are not taught in schools. It is there for some adults to use as a way of guiding their lives, if they choose, so, choose to do so. They, it just does not form any part of a modern Steiner school. But nonetheless... He is the driving force intellectually behind it. And, you know, in his philosophy, there is this stuff which I think most people would think of as racist and bonkers about the Aryans being the super race oh, and all absolutely. the rest of it. Absolutely, of course but it's racist. It, how, but don't you worry but about being associated with a school founded it, on such ideas? Rudolf Steiner had a lot of good ideas about uh, educational provision, which have been taken and developed and progressed 
and that is what forms a part of, of, ed of, but, of but the education But is there any today. role for public money in schools which are based on this kind of philosophy, Andrew? Well, I obviously don't think so. I think because uh, any, any state-funded uh, school should be built on proper educational practice and theory, and Steiner education I'm, theory isn't. And, I, and, I'm and, sorry, and your it, attempt it, it to dismiss... No, can I just say something? Because you've spoken for a long time about, about uh, made claims about what was in these documents which are untrue. Um, an attempt to dismiss these documents as if they contain just the allegations of individual parents will completely fail because they actually quote teacher training manuals for Steiner pedagogy which say many of the things that um, has just been said both in the report and now um, about some children uh, being destined by their karma to be victims and some to be bullied. Um, all, all, all Do you think public money should go into these schools? Evidence. Because you presumably paid. You presumably paid, did you? I, I had to pay, but there are many parents who cannot afford to pay who would like the kind of education that you get in Steiner schools, which is about really uh, educating the whole child in a very imaginative and artistic way. And if you look at the school inspection reports, they are, telling, they are telling parents how good these schools are and how good they are at producing, the, the producing young people with strong self-esteem, academically able and, and, and well prepared to go on and be good citizens in life. I'm afraid, I'm afraid we are going to have to leave it there, but anyway, thank you very much. I thought that was a jolly interesting discussion.